Hello guys, I have this old uh, sander who uh, not working very well, but uh, I don't. I'm not the kind of guy of throwing out a tool without uh, at least trying to fix it. So uh, I will show you uh, what it does exactly. I already blow uh, with compressed air all the dust that I could out of it. Uh, so I'll connect it and I will show you what it does towards the problem. When I turn it on, oh, there is jam. So I will obviously not let it on so uh, I burn something or... But uh, today what we will do... <laughs> sorry about disconnecting it. We will open this up and see if we can get some more jobs out of it. So let's start it. Right in the fan. No, it's coming just like that. I should have known that. Yeah, this is the fan that blew out the dust. On the exhaust there's still a lot of dust in there so maybe it's just the, the problem it's just the dust so now it's open it's opening very easily there's some dust in here in the top cover but not crazy not anything that can uh, hold the motor from spinning And it's turning air so I will put the cover back and I will try to turn it on and see and see if it's been now let's try it Now it's spinning very well, so we know the problem is on the pad and not with the motor. <clears throat> but still, while I'm here, I will clean this up. Don't forget to disconnect that. Uh, if someone have a Mastercraft tool and live in Canada, uh, you all know that their their cord are shitty in winter as as soon as it past zero or minus five it's like working with a piece of uh, steel wire uh, it's so cold you can not even remove a band from it because you will crack the the, the skin of the, the cord <clears throat> At this point, I don't know why they just not uh, selling their tools five or ten bucks more expensive and put better cord on it. Am I? Yeah, I'm going in. Just like that, you can replace the cord. It's fantastic. It's look like a connector. So let's see if we can pull this out. Maybe it's not. Yeah, it was a little connector. So let's remove the other one. One done, and the brush is going out, so maybe it will help. Yes, you see the brown wire that go 
on this connector it's going at the brush and uh, as you can see still long enough brush left so i won't have to buy new ones just clean this up and they're still uh, good for a couple of years so we will keep them and this is our motor you can remove that and clean everything but it's not looking uh, too bad at all as you can see here there's a lot of dust in the coil of copper wire so I will uh, take it out and blow it with that compressed air now we remove the rest of the wiring <clears throat> and why this one is so hard to take out it's not hard at all so let's take all the wires out so all the loose parts are removed as you can see it's a master craft it's not a bad tool but it's not the best tool ever either it's not it's more for craftsmen not for pro professional use i have makito for professional use but uh, as i said at the beginning of the video i don't like to uh, throw out tools when they're still good and as you can see uh, the motor is still working fine so the problem is in the plate i, I will deal with it uh, on the reassembly but now let's clean up some parts hopefully that's strong enough The copper wires and the motor itself, I obviously uh, haven't put any water in it in case I create a short. I just uh, blow it with compressed air. Now the, the switch have enough, enough loose, so let's put the other brush in. Pretty easy to put the brush back in, it's not always the case. And the switch it is in its position as well. Or the rotor so let's put it before
on my hair. Perfectly sitting. Yes, it's time to close it and uh, Yeah, the gap is good. I mean The motor is at a right position enough we have two screws in let's see if we are correctly connected yes we are <laughs> so let's screw it together all the screws are in let's see if it's still working very well and as you can see we have the pin from the shaft maybe you can see it more see that way and the pin go in that dent of the fan so it spin and it make the cam shake the plate so it's in so I believe I finally found the problem, the bearing in there seems to be jammed. So I need to remove it and see if I can save it, maybe just put some grease in it. But there's a snap ring under that rubber or foam cushion. I need to remove it. You can see you can see that the one all of the snap ring this is the snap ring take the bearing out Just got out. Oh, and doesn't spin very well now. We'll try to grease it and see if we can unjam it. Oh. I believe I can save it since it just dust. Wow. Not enough pressure. I will go below that with the air compressor. So good news and bad news guys. Let me just clean this mess a bit. So the good news is uh, it was not uh, metal uh, shred from the ball bearing but it was just dust and the reason I know it because uh, I blow it away I put some oil in the bearing and now it spin just like a brand new there's no loose at all in it so the bearing still good I will put uh, the open side I will still put this back on but it won't be sealed maybe this will be back just fine I doubt it but I will clean it up and yeah I believe it will it will be good but I will grease it before exceptionally only for bearing but this grease is synthetic mobile one grease I use it a, 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 a lot it doesn't uh, get thicker in the cold 
let's put it back on it it's not sealed but it looked pretty good let's see so let's put the bearing back and i will put the cap uh, that it's not sealed anymore up so at least it, it, will, it will be less exposed the bearing is at its position we need to put the clip back or the snap ring back can i do something with that there we go the clip is installed so it's time to put it back the lock the paper so just making sure I put that on the right side which is here to the sander So this is it, we'll do a final test to see if it's still working. Uh, so since it's very warm, the option is to uh, install a complete new surface which is probably what I will do. So on this guys, I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It's probably my last video in 2018. Uh, so I hope I will see you back uh, all in 2019. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I hope you have fun, don't drink and drive. Please don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. And on this, have fun and see you later.